Every decision creates ripples, countless unforeseen consequences. If we could see the inner workings of this infinity, we would mimic the deer that stands still to elude its predator. We wouldn't dare make a move. I couldn't see it, so I followed the path, and that kept me alive. But it did much more than that. Introspection can be far more scarring than any wound. First, I saw myself reflected in the shallow sea, and I wept. Then fear found me deep in the bottomless belly of this world. Time unraveled in the forest. It was much later, in the world of ice, that I fought against the demons that had been passed down to me, father to son. And finally, on the heavens and at the sacred tree, the truth of my maker. For all that, solitude and sorrow were my true, faithful companions in the path of Talamus. They consumed the beauty of this realm, making it gray and hopeless. The only thing that mattered was moving forward. Only the path remained. How would I find her otherwise? I couldn't know. Not yet. Trapped in that world, the only thing I knew was my sister had survived in there. Somehow. I just had to let myself be led by her drawings and her light. The Thalamus was waiting for me, although I wouldn't see it and with it any sense of hope until I had emerged from the darkness of the cave. But let's not get ahead of ourselves.
the sand between my toes. I hadn't paid attention to the feeling before, and now I couldn't. I didn't feel my body at all. My alarming lack of a physical presence was too much of an existential threat to handle, so I didn't. Into the belly of the beast. Unlike Jonah's, mine was no big fish, but it was just as frightening, if not more so. I knew I had to follow the music, yet I expected something else to go with it. I thought that fear would find me and keep me petrified there forever. Yes, I felt alone and helpless, but the narrative conventions of fear-inducing darkness were not fulfilled. No deep-seated trauma reared its ugly head. Not yet. There was again, her drawing, ever present, always guiding me, Sophia. I could see it almost as clearly as the first time, so close, yet so far away. I must have faith, I told myself repeatedly. I had to, for her. And again, the Talamus was heartlessly snatched out of my reach, and with it, my redemption. No matter. She would guide me. Thank you.
And so it was that I finally saw the inner workings of infinity. I didn't stand still. I took the reins of the gears of time. I was so close. These new obstacles wouldn't faze me, nor would the corruption that was spreading all around. I was ready to seek forgiveness from the prime mover behind it all. I had seen Sophia's death in the looking glass and confronted my inherited demons. I was ready to wake up.